Good evening. I shall resign the presidency at noon tomorrow. This is an historic day, the only time a president has ever resigned from office. Nixon knew about the Watergate cover-up. The man who has committed the greatest felony in American history will never stand trial. I've had an idea for an interview. Richard Nixon. You're a talk show host. I spent yesterday watching you interview the Bee Gees. Weren't they terrific? <laughs> Why would I want to talk to David Frost? I got half a million dollars. Really? <laughs> Frost has hired three crack investigators. Can I be crack one? Can I be deep crack? <laughs> Can I shake his hand? After everything he's done in this country? Are you kidding me? Oh, pleasure to meet you. Mr. President. That was devastating. I mean, I don't think he's ever going to get over that. Frost is just not in your class, sir. You're going to be able to rebuild your reputation. This entire project is a joke. I do hope that isn't coming out of your own pocket. I wish my pockets were that deep. I'm in this for everything I've got. There's a reason they call him Tricky Dick. You stand by to roll tape. You had a pleasant evening last night? Uh, yes. Four, three, two. To do any fornicating. And Hugh David. Uh, uh, the American people need a conviction. I'd like to give Richard Nixon the trial he never had. Democracy depends on it. We're not going to let that happen. We're going to make them choke on power and glory. Why didn't you burn the tapes? I didn't want to take any questions on water. They shut it down. I will ruin you if it takes the rest of my life. What have I done? If in this interview, Nixon exonerates himself poor, that would be the worst crime of all. Three. To Q. David. Are you really saying the president can do something illegal? I'm saying that when the president does it, that means it's not illegal. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>